Have you ever wondered about the world's most deadly bomb that can destroy the world in minutes? The US Air Force already has a large inventory of weapons worth billions, but it has always continued to strive to make the weapons deadlier and more effective that could leave others far behind. The US has decided to make another leap towards gaining technological supremacy through a billion dollar project known as the Dragon Bomb. This bomb is being dubbed as the deadliest weapon ever made with lethal destructive powers. However, has this rapid bomb been ever used in a real battle? Let us together go into the details of the Dragon Bomb and find out how lethal it can be. The deadliest bomb, Rapid Dragon is a revolutionary palletized and disposable weapons module that has been recently tested. This innovative system, developed between 2020 and 2021 by a team of U.S. Air Force and industry experts led by Lockheed Martin, transforms regular military cargo planes into highly efficient standoff strategic bombers. The Rapid Dragon consists of a disposable pallet packed with all necessary abilities, enabling cargo aircraft like the C-130 or C-17 to temporarily repurpose as bombers capable of mass launching a variety of long or short range AGM-158 JSM cruise missiles against land or naval targets. The Rapid Dragon deployment boxes come in various sizes, accommodating from 4 to 45 AGM-158 JSM ER cruise missiles with a range of 570 to 1,200 miles. This capability is set to expand in 2024 with even longer range missiles. Named after the ancient Chinese weapon Glong, which fired multiple long range crossbow missiles, the Rapid Dragon aims to overwhelm targets from a safe distance, minimizing risk to the launching aircraft. This innovative system not only enhances the United States Air Force's capabilities, but also offers strategic strike capabilities to allied forces with cargo aircraft. For example, a C-130 can deploy up to 12 AGM cruise missiles from a safe distance of 620 to 1,180 miles, using two Rapid Dragon pallets. The larger C-17 can carry five pallets, which means a total of 45 missiles. In a recent test over the Gulf of Mexico on December 16, 2021, an armed Rapid Dragon successfully received target data in flight from a remote control center, engaged its JM missiles, and struck a naval target with precision. This development marks a significant advancement in military capabilities, enabling more cost-effective and efficient mass attack missions at extended ranges. In another test, a cargo fighter jet, the AMC-130J, had four pieces of the Rapid Dragon missile module fitted, which demonstrated its capability to prevent missile launches from conflicting with non-munition ballast rounds. This system, which is designed to deliver stable drops, is just right for missions, which require fewer missiles than the module's full capacity. The test was conducted by an Air Force Special Operations Command flight crew using an AMC-130J. The test went off perfectly. The airdrop personnel executed the drop as a routine cargo drop. With the Rapid Dragon Control Unit autonomously receiving command and control data for programming the missile's targeting data. The Rapid Dragon system is useful in situations where there are many cruise missiles used. It can be combined with small inexpensive drones to bog down and confuse complex air defense systems, as it was shown in 2018 Riyadh and Syria missile attacks when the advanced systems S-300 and S-400 failed to cope with low-flying cruise missiles. The U.S. Air Force will continue testing the Rapid Dragon on C-17s, AGM-158C LR ASM, and also the recently available AGM-158D JSM XR. On the other hand, they are also assessing the potential of Boeing's JDAMER bombs and are working with Rathon to integrate ADM-160 MAL decoys. The system's live demonstration at the Atreus 2022 military exercise in Europe, which was backed by military partners from various countries, is a testament to its adaptability and effectiveness. The future plan entails the extension of the system to include a wide range of missiles, bombs, mines and drones, as well as making the launch system compatible with different supporting aircraft. The Rapid Dragon is a smart bomb in a box that is disposable, filling the gap between targeting information provided by Allied units and munitions deployment from a distant fire control center. The latest Rapid Dragon missile system, which is produced by Lockheed Martin, was recently demonstrated and showcased in an exercise that used a conventional MC-130J Hercules military transport aircraft. 
The Rapid Dragon system pallet was loaded on the plane with the help of roller guides and after that was pulled out of the in-flight cargo hatch using a parachute. The main parachute deployed, thus putting the pallet into a sling with the missiles in the upright position. The missiles then fell out of their cells, unpacked their wings, and started their engines, after which they accelerated to their program targets at a speed of 575.5 miles per hour. The idea of missile launch from air transport or passenger planes is not new. In the 1970s, the U.S. Air Force considered using the Boeing 747-200 as a cruise missile carrier aircraft capable of carrying 50 to 100 AGM-86 ALCM air-launched cruise missiles. Nevertheless, the project was named Cruise Missile Carrier Aircraft and ceased to exist due to the concerns of the Pentagon generals about possible budget impacts on other projects. The Rapid Dragon system that is designed as a simple transport pallet with rocket rails mounted on it is able to hold up to six to nine weapons. Up to two six-round pallets can be loaded onto a C-130 Hercules, and the bigger C-17 Globemaster can carry up to five nine-round pallets. The system has AGM-158 JME cruise missiles as its main component. The missiles are of subsonic stealth design and are guided by an inertial guidance system, GPS, and an infrared target identification system. The recent exercise in Norway has proved the system can target and redirect missiles even when the aircraft is in flight using the ground-based missile targeting and a satellite link. The United States has chosen to field the AGM-158D JSMER cruise missile a new variant with a new wing design and a range of about 1,200 miles in future deployments of the Rapid Dragon system. The production of the Rapid Dragon missile system began on a small scale in late 2021, and it is expected to reach five missiles a month by the end of 2024. The system provides different versions such as AGM-158 anti-ship short-range cruise missile, which is designed to attack ships in the sea with a range of 350 miles. Other choices on the table are the JDAMER gliding air bombs with wings and rudders, which have an autopilot with GPS and can engage targets from up to 50 miles away depending on the drop altitude. Furthermore, the system includes the Quick Strike ER guided mine planes, which are conventional high explosive bombs fitted with planning and guidance kits, enabling them to be launched from an aircraft and used as seabed mines to mine enemy waters beyond air defense range. ADM-160. Mauled autonomous decoys are small dummy drones which mimic radar signatures of different aircraft, thus diverting the enemy air defenses. Currently, the USA has increased its fleet of bomber missile carriers from 116 units consisting of 58 B-52H and 58 B-1B bombers to 786 units that include C-17 and C-130 heavy transport aircraft. This expansion is a cost-saving step, approximately at a cost of a few million dollars, as opposed to tens of billions. Nevertheless, it poses problems of control over the use of these forces, especially because the C-130 can take off from a 9-10 meter dirt runway, and therefore, it is difficult to track and monitor. This system offers an opportunity to NATO or friendly countries that do not have their strategic aviation to enhance their capabilities. Countries such as Australia, Poland, and Finland own the JM and JMER missiles. They have C-17s, C-27s, and C-130s in their heavy transport aircraft. These countries could conduct large-scale strikes with low-visibility cruise missiles over 2,500 meters away by outfitting the aircraft with the Rapid Dragon trays. This would significantly increase their capabilities and change the regional balance of power. Another major bomb to be mentioned is the Tsar Bomba or the King of Bombs, the largest nuclear weapon ever exploded. The Soviet Union demonstrated it in 1961, and it had a 50 megaton yield, which was about 3,800 times stronger than the U.S. bomb dropped on Hiroshima. The bomb's size and design were altered to lower the fallout, and it was dropped over the Mityushika Bay test site, creating a mushroom cloud 37 miles high. The B-61 thermonuclear gravity bomb, the main thermonuclear bomb in the U.S. stockpile since the end of the Cold War, is also worth mentioning here. It is both versatile and adaptable to tactical and strategic purposes. The bomb is in its 12th Amendment, each bomb costing $28 million. It is adjustable to different power levels, 
and is developed to be carried by fast aircrafts for supersonic flight, which makes it a versatile and powerful weapon. The B-61 can be set to be air or ground detonated and can be dropped with or without a parachute, permitting several delivery modes. Mod 11 is a specialized version for penetrating the ground before it explodes. Approximately 50 Mod 11 bombs have been manufactured, the first being used in 1997 and mainly for B-2 Spirit aircraft. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and watch the next video as well. See you again. Bye-bye.